okay let's start by creating a java project new select automotive no activity my java select the language as java okay so now we have a basic java project ready let's now move this project to aos so this project is a simple hello world project at the moment so this project doesn't have any activities at the moment so let's add one activity and an empty activity keep it as k okay. and here let's add a text box okay name this as my aosp java project my first aosp java project okay so now we have created a project um, in android studio so as you already know the build system for android app development is gradle so now we need to migrate this project to aosp and ship it as part of the aosp build so basically what we need to do is we need to copy the resource folder java folder and the manifest we need to ignore all the gradle script files because aosp is having a different build system so let's go ahead and do that so we need to basically migrate the gradle project into this format like this folder structure right so the easiest way to do that is uh, just copy one of the app like in this case I'll, I'll just copy the calendar app copy paste it here i have calendar copy now and let's go to folder i'll rename this to my aosp java so i'm renaming the folder to my aosp java open this and now we could remove file sources source i'm also removing the test okay so so basically we need to convert the android project into this format it's pretty straightforward we just need to copy the source folder here the source folder here and um, just uh, replace this uh, android manifest here and then edit the android.bp file okay so let's do that so first thing let's copy the source okay so i have opened the android studio project in the left panel and uh, the new folder which we created within aosp in the right panel okay so let's uh, copy the uh, source files to aosp so this is our um, gradle project the android application project so let's go into the source folder main java so we need to basically copy this com folder to the source uh, folder here so right click just copy okay so the source folder is now here so we have the main activity.java inside the my aosp java module within within aosp okay so now let's copy the resource folder so this folder let's add, add delete this copy this here we have copied the resource folder and source folder here and now we have android.bp which needs to be modified and we also need to copy the android manifest.xml so let's copy that let's first delete it from here copied so we have copied the android manifest.xml source folder resource folder so now uh, we need to modify the android.bp file so let's switch to visual studio code okay so this is the so this is the newly created module so we already copied resource and the source file we have main.activity here and android manifest so okay so now let's modify android bp file so we can leave the package as it is change this name android app to my aosp java and here in the sources we could just mention star.java so when we add a kotlin project we need to mention star.at here okay so this project only has java so let's keep it as it is java and then this is the resource folder sdk version current target sdk version 28 29 let's keep it as it is so you can also replace this with um, the information from gradle like in the project if you go to the build gradle you can just replace it with these uh, value as well okay so for our case let's keep it as it is and then optimize enabled false dex pre-opt just keep it as um, false and we can remove this library we don't have any dependency there so this is one important part so basically whatever dependencies um which are there in the original android project that has to come here otherwise the build will fail so what you could do is go to gradle so within gradle we have these dependencies right so basically we have to copy all these dependencies there okay so as we could see it has the dependency on app compat then we have the material libraries and then the constraint layout and the unit test we are not moving the 
pest folder so we can just ignore these for now so we need at least these three dependencies in the android.bp file okay so let's replace this with these three dependencies so we need the lifecycle extension dependencies the app combat dependencies and the material dependencies okay let's let's go ahead and compile in case if we are missing any further dependencies uh, then we could add it okay so this is now done okay so i think now we are almost done with all the modules um now we need to add this project into the main build files that is it depends on what build you are performing so in this case i am planning to add this to the automotive build so i need to basically modify the product packages of the automotive build make file so let's do that now so for the automotive build or the car product build you can see all the product packages added under the car.mk file so you can see the car dial wrap car launcher system ui local media player everything here so let's add our app as well here copy this paste this and we have, please make a note we need to add the module name here so that means the name which you have given here the my aosp java paste it here save it okay, now let's uh, build it if there is any dependencies mi missing then we could uh, add it since this is a simple project we all and we only have a couple of dependencies it's pretty straightforward but when you have a big project with lots of dependencies uh, that could become a little bit tricky so the only task is to find the right uh, dependent modules and just add it under the static lips okay now the build is successful so let's run the emulator let's start it with the um, white data so that we are sure that we only have the factory apps in it okay so here we go this is our app my aosp java and chose the text my first aosp java project okay so the process is almost similar for the kotlin projects as well except that we need to make a minor modification in the um, android.bp file just to include the star.kt files okay we'll try out a kotlin project in the later session 